God. <laughs> Crazy mood tonight. Uh, my first guest is a good friend. He's a he's an ingenious man when it comes to comedy. He's just recorded an album with get this. Who do you think with? Mm. Richard Burton. Wow. Of the Little Prince, which will be released. Uh, we'll find out when it's going to be released. Would you welcome Johnny Winters? Johnny. Winters. I thought you got out the old army uniform there for a second. Well, I was in my basement when I got the call. <laughs> and uh, so I uh, dropped everything. Right. There were some squirrels and uh, some things uh, caught in the vent. <laughs> and so I said, just stay where you are, gang. You spend uh, a lot of time in that basement because that's where you do all your painting. That's your... where I do all my... Yeah. I'll do a lot of meditating down there. Yeah. Which is thinking about jobs, really. <laughs> and, uh, I, uh, they don't have any basements in California. You're from the Midwest, like that's Ohio. True. I'm from Nebraska, and every house had a basement. There was something secure. That's right. And gave you a feeling of um, strength, and you go down to the basement to meditate or They're fool very, around. That's and... very true. There are very few basements out here in California. Ours, uh, when the rains do come, uh, our basement floods. <laughs> and it's always fun to go down there uh, early in the morning uh, to witness about that much water in the, in the basement to, to see some of your favorite works of art uh, <laughs> floating. <laughs> you really have watercolors very fast. <laughs> and of course, the furnace automatically shuts off, and I automatically don't know how to turn it on. Are you bad at things like that around the house? Very. I have, the, the, I have no mechanical sense at all. No, that, that's strange, uh, because you're an artist, and it, no. uh, as an artist, you should have certain proportions. No, I, I know nothing about cars. I, I couldn't. When the thing stops, I get out and leave it. <laughs> Just put a sign on it. It's yours, fella. <laughs> you see what you can do with it. <laughs> and uh, I, uh, guys, uh, take me left and right, uh, with the exception of a few <clears throat> friends who are kind to me, who say, we'll fix it for $16.95. Uh, most of the time, the guy just a little, you know, his eyes light up when you say that uh, the refrigerator's on the blank, and he says, well, I think we can handle this. <laughs> and you know the guy's going to add a little section to his mobile home. <laughs> Drapes for the oh, bedroom. Yeah, sure. yeah. He's going to get a color TV set that night. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I always ask the question, which is so ridiculous, uh, what's the matter with it? And which is, is standard for all of us, you know. What, what's the matter with it? And he never gives you a simple thing. Well, uh, this was uh, normally. Uh, right away, you know, that's going to be big figures when he says normally. <laughs> normally, this would be a minor job. But I think, uh, boy, listen, and the parts are real hard to get for this. This will run about $116.36, and I'm, I'm, I'm letting you off easy. <laughs> and well, uh, then he looks at his little yeah. funny partner, who is on a tight line, <laughs> and uh, uh, the guy goes... <laughs> <laughs> right, Rudy. Oh, boy, yeah. <laughs> but I... I am cursed from the standpoint that I have no mechanical sense at all. This got into basements, I don't know why, but as a kid, I remember the Midwest, that was the sanctuary. Oh, yeah. You'd go down, you'd make lead soldiers, or you'd have your, right. your girly magazine squirrel, <laughs> squirreled away in the coal bin somewhere. Sure. Uh, did you ever do that when you were a kid? Put coal, shovel the coal into the old? Yes, I had to furnace? shovel a lot of coal. And uh, it's, uh, it's not much fun, really. Yeah. Uh, again, uh, you get up around 5.30 in the morning when I was st first starting in radio, used to have to get up around 5, because the uh, program started at 6. We got up about, about a quarter of 5. And we had to bank what we call bank the, the, the coal. Sure. And, uh, to keep it going to overnight. To keep it going. And um, I remember uh, my wife, uh, seems to me, several times came close to getting malaria. Uh, because I would bank it and get it up to an all-time high <laughs> of about 116. And she'd wake up, oh, my Lord, what's happening the heat is... You know, and this would be January or February when normally it was five below. And I'd say, well, sweetheart, you know, you're in bed and I have to work and... Um, Thank the furnace. So uh, you've got a little fever going for you. But <laughs> No, I used to carry coal as a kid. I remember we had the little uh, coal furnaces, little or little fireplaces. Yeah. And uh, you little shuttle, a little coal shuttle, right? 
and uh, carry those up, which was... Uh, yeah, we come out of the same... Oh, sure. Right yeah. back there. Hey, tell me about this thing I mentioned about doing an album with Richard Burton. Oh. The Little Prince. Well, uh, it was uh, it was very interesting. Um, I think, of course, and I'm sure most people out there would agree that uh, Richard Burton is one of the finest actors we've got in the world, which is a very heavy statement, but I think very true. He's a fine, fine actor and a very interesting guy. Um, interesting thing, or not very interesting, uh, um, <laughs> vice versa, you can take it either way. Um, we're one day apart, same age, almost, he's 48, I'm 48, he's November 10th, and I'm November 11th. We're a couple of Scorpios, and in case you people out there are just going through some quick little pages, what are Scorpios? I'm Scorpio, I'm Scorpio, You're Scorpio too, and the same age as you are. strange, wild yes. people. But uh, he, uh, he came in, we started uh, recording around 10, and uh, Richard came in, he had a little bit of a glow on. <laughs> he does and, nip a yeah, once in a while. He has a little touch, he? apparently, now and then. And, um, but uh, he, he was really performed very well. And uh, we had Jim Backus was on, John Carradine. And uh, it, I, I played, uh, I don't know how many people are familiar with The Little Prince. It's a lovely book. It really is a beautiful little story. And uh, good for all ages. I mean, uh, I, I would imagine, I guess, if you're around 58, you might be a little bored with it. Uh, <laughs> Because of their the pictures aren't the pictures that a fifty eight year old person would want, but um, it's uh, it's a lovely lovely story. Yeah. I played the snake and uh, the lamplighter, two parts. And uh, well, what does a snake it. sound like? How did you get into a snake That's voice? I was, was going to say I did a little uh, kind of a hiss, uh, sort of to talk like this, and um, I've forgotten what voice I used uh, for the lamplighter. It I wasn't a. Um, a feminine snake. No, no, I, uh, I didn't use that. <laughs> I remember I used that in a service one time. <laughs> Just when they said we're going overseas tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you silly. I walked up to a full, full bird one time, and a uh, full colonel, and uh, I turned him, I said, isn't it an unusual day for an attack? <laughs> To the bunk. Right. Yeah. Yeah. right into the hospital there. <laughs> Papers, and you're on the train going home to yeah. Ohio. Yes, right. Very quickly. Very quickly. Well, I got to take a break already? We're going to come back. You got a couple of pictures here we want to talk about. Freddie said you're doing something new that I want to see. Yes. Some uh, little ink drawings. But we have a word from Toyota, small car specialist for 40 years. <laughs> We're back. Well, we're talking with Johnny Winters. Uh, what we talking about we, we got in your paintings didn't talking we about yeah working down the basement i it, it's kind of interesting i i a lot of people uh, probably question it whether you know i really paint in the basement but i do it's not a very uh, chic uh, place to paint as i pointed out but i find an interesting thing happens a lot of artists uh, will tell you and uh, it, it's uh, very debatable and probably most of the artists are right about that but you should have a great north light yeah. and a very, very spacious studio and stand uh, at your easel and do all these little goodies, which I find for the most part is true. Uh, that is, if your mind doesn't wander, and uh, my, my mind uh, tends to wander. So uh, I am in very like small confinement quarters. of the yeah, basement. I, I like the confinement. That's security. Having been confined, uh, so, uh, and so, not so too far you, away from right, home. Exactly. And so when you do come up out of the basement, it's a little bit of a treat, a release. <laughs> And uh, you're kind of thankful, hey, I'm not down there for... It's like the papers have been yeah. signed and you're out, right, of course. exactly. So you're kind of an outpatient, you know. <laughs> come and go as you please. But uh, it's a great little place for me to work. I have... Uh, I've You've got some new uh, things last here. Last night you had Don Kingman on. Yes. An old, old friend of I yours. I know he is. Known, a friend of mine. And One of the fine uh, watercolors in the he's world. He's a great guy. A wonderful yeah. little guy. A great sense of humor and uh, he's a lot of fun. And excellent. This great. is new for you. This I'm is, working in, uh, uh, in inks. These are... Uh, uh, we'll, get a, ink, we'll get a uh, shot over there. Various uh, ink pens, and they, boy, they really give you bright colors. Uh, that's a uh, an unusual title. It's called a whale. A whale. Uh, <laughs> whale with teeth. And a, a, a very this, colored, uh, uh, multicolored whale also. But I've a lot of influence by the Indians and Mexicans and the Aztecs. Uh, South Americans do a lot of, uh, as you know, bright colors with, with cloth and uh, with their artwork. Uh, this is called... Um, uh, what is this called? A uh, bird with a split personality. Bird with a split personality. 
Seems logical. Here's a, a religious bird standing on a religious turtle. <laughs> Here's a man who hasn't got it all together. <laughs> He's dressed up for something that just isn't going to come off. <laughs> this is called a, a kitty who isn't paying attention. <laughs> I have two more. This is, yeah. uh, pen this is pencil. This is not any. This is pencil. I don't know how much of it. Uh, this is called Hollywood Pool Man. A little and, fish. Uh, a little all fish through. throughout his body there, and uh, he's uh, kind of far out in a strange old face. Are you sell and, you're selling fairly well, aren't you? Oh, yeah. It's your art show. Fairly well. Uh, this is called uh, An American Easter. Titles are a lot of fun. Uh, people say, well, I don't understand. Where's the bunny and the eggs and things? <laughs> but uh, there's a lot of things going on in there, and you just uh, that's the great thing about surrealism is that... Uh, you, you see what you want to see, and... Uh, Were you influenced by, uh, by, by Dolly or anybody? I have always been realistic? a great admirer of Dolly's. I like... Uh, Most people forget that he is a fine, also, oh, technician, yeah. and when he draws uh, realism, or does a seascape, or uh, something, it is absolutely startling. He's a great, great painter. I, Paul Clay is another guy I've always right. enjoyed, and I have great respect for Magritte, uh, René Magritte, who uh, was a Belgian painter and a uh, surrealist who has uh, great humor and a great painter. What do you think of art that generally the prices nowadays has become absolutely fantastic, you know, when paintings were, were like the Vermeer that was just returned in Ireland for four and one half million dollars for one painting. People, yeah. uh, they find it hard to put that kind of a value on something. I'd be a little scared to own something like that. I, I think Hang it on I, your walls. Could you imagine having a four a million dollar painting on a wall? Yeah. I think that the thing to do would be uh, to build a concrete uh, room, you know, blocks about this mm -hmm. thick, walls, and just uh, put the painting up on that and visit it once, uh, once a month, you know, under heavy guard. <laughs> and just sit there uh, with a flashlight or whatever. <laughs> just look at it, you know, and then say, OK, boys, let's go upstairs and lock it up again. <laughs> but that's, uh, no, it's, uh, it's uh, when you get up around that kind of money, boy, uh, that's, uh, it's a lot of money for us. It is incredible. Where are you going on vacation? Did you take that trip that you were talking about? I'm going, about? Uh, I'm going fishing tomorrow with my boy. We're going up north, northern California. I've got a little piece of property up there. Now, do you paint and, when you're outdoors, or is that just for the basement? I usually sketch in the evening when my boy is uh, cruising. Uh, <laughs> uh, driving, I guess, that age, is driving he? around. He's 24. Oh. Well, I, I usually lie to people when people say, how old are your children? I have a boy, 24, and a little girl, 18. I usually say they're five and six. We had them late in life. <laughs> uh, but I do. I have a boy, 24. <laughs> well, at that age, and, you remember um, that age, don't well, you? Well, you've got a kid. Uh, he's moving. 23. Yeah, right, 23. Um, but we're going fishing up north. We're going to go bass fishing, yeah. which, is, which is a lot of fun. And um, we're going to do that for, for a couple of days and see what happens. And if there are no fish there, then... Uh, I don't know, we'll probably go to Singapore for a few days. <laughs> <laughs> well, you always do that when That's the fish aren't biting, you know, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, when the fish aren't biting, you just throw your air travel card on the thing. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, I, I think about those people having vacations. I guess we all do. You know what? Yeah. The, the guy that only gets two weeks oh. must be murder, you know, because... I, I can remember, and I still uh, hold my folks in great admiration, uh, for a trip they made in 1936, where they, they put three kids. So about, I was uh, 11, my brother was eight, my sister was about 13, in the back seat of a 36 Ford and drove from Nebraska to Salt Lake City, up the northern route to San Francisco, down to Los Angeles, back through Phoenix, Las Vegas, Colorado, and back up, all in two weeks in July and in July, in the summer of July, in July, with no air conditioning. That takes yeah. a lot of guts. Would yeah. you do that? I don't. I don't know if I could cut that. That's, uh, that's courage. I'd send them on ahead. <laughs> I think I'd, re I'd probably meet, meet them the last two days. <laughs> but I, it's, uh, it's interesting because I think with a great many men, I've been fortunate, this hasn't happened to me uh, very often, if ever, but a great many men have to satisfy their wives with the mother-in-law scene, you see, and, and father-in-law sometimes say, and uh, she always says, well, I want to take my mother again this year for at least a week. Mother doesn't like it where she is, and uh, we want, I want to take her. And the guy's, oh, please, please. 
<laughs> I suppose we're going to take your dad, too. Yes, we're going to take dad, too. <laughs> uh, and there's always a problem with, uh, with in-laws of... I didn't think we were going to go there. I don't want to go there. <laughs> and that's all right if the guy would throw in some coins. <laughs> But uh, usually it's this. Uh, I, mean, I seem to have left my money at home. I don't have anything. Mm. But um, I, uh, I can remember vacations only, uh, only too well. When we, like all of us, when we first started out, uh, it was where to go. You know, you had about 50 mile radius, which is not too exciting in, in almost any area, especially back in the Middle West when you'd say, we go to a place like Silver Lake. And the lake was usually dried up. Uh, <laughs> there were canoes just sat in the mud, you know. <laughs> and a guy would pretend, you know. Uh, we're here on vacation. That was exciting. And the picnics and cows and this and that. And it was always, uh, Are we going to Silver Lake again? <laughs> yeah, we're going to Silver Lake again. <laughs> I remember some of those. And the fish were just floating <laughs> on top of the water. <laughs> Hey, I hope you have a good uh, good time on the vacation. And I think you came in on short notice tonight. Well, uh, and I, I, and I thank I, you for uh, coming in. Because was, I, I'm, uh, I'm amazed at some of the stuff you're doing. And uh, I know you got you got a you got a split tonight, so I'm going to give you your paintings back, or I might put the put the arm on a couple of those. Well, bless your heart. Because I, I I love your uh, stuff, really. Thank you. These things are available, incidentally. Uh, Drop can <laughs> can actually be purchased uh, for a coin of the realm. And or... I think we could very honestly work out something. Uh, <laughs> a few doubloons. I'm very flexible. I. Uh, I, if you're if you're a little short on cash, some ties, some shirts, a smart ring with a Masonic crest on it. Uh, only if I get a tour of the basement. Okay. Also, all right. It? Thank you, Johnny. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Well, is... Funny man, talented.